So today, what I originally wanted to do was give you all a tour of my nice studio, but I'm not exactly a fan of the way this green screen looks. It's got these big janky poles in the way, and every time I'm done streaming, I gotta take the time to do this, and it's just flimsy, and it's in the way. My girlfriend's not too happy. I got this big thing cluttering up the living room. So I got a plan to swap it out. I'm gonna have a green screen that unravels from the ceiling. I'm gonna have a green screen that unravels from the ceiling, almost like a projector. So I got some stuff on Amazon. Why don't you come take a look at it? The first thing is photodiox single roller, whatever it is. It's for like classrooms when they have maps that unroll and such. Basically, we got these two little roller things and you stick this in a piece of pipe and goes in between and the whole thing unrolls. It's going to come together real nice. I paid like 20 bucks for this. Come look at the rest of the hardware we got here. So to hang it from the ceiling, you'll kind of see how it all goes together, but I've got some, uh, what's this, 8th inch metal braided wire cord thing from the uh, local big box store. I've got some eye hooks. I'm going to put those through the drywall using these toggle bolts. It, it says they'll hold like almost 300 pounds, so yeah, we'll see. I got some thimbles, got some S-hooks, I got these little things to clamp down the wire, that should be nice. And to attach the green screen to the pipe, I got some this epoxy. It, it, we'll see how that works. Let's get into it. The first thing I gotta do is take down this green screen. Alright. I hope you see how annoying this thing is to maneuver around. This whole setup, you can see it in a video. I'll probably like put it up there somewhere or something. It's, it's a neat little rig. It comes apart real nicely. It's just a little, uh, a little much for our dining room, which I've kind of turned into a streaming lair. So I need a, an option that's a little more discreet. See, the, the tripods really do come apart nicely, press right down. I, I was happy with them. Like I said, it's just a bit much for the, for the, I mean, look, this is the front door right here. And this is where the pole goes. So if I'm right in the middle of screaming and say my girlfriend comes home and just Knocks my whole green screen right aside. I can't be having that. We, this this whole thing's just gotta go. Instead of those big clunky things, I am replacing them with this big clunky thing. The only difference is this will be hanging from the ceiling. Hopefully, it'll stay hanging from the ceiling if I do this right. What do we gotta do first? So check this out. This is wicked cool. These things have like these little uh, like plunger things. You screw this down and this white part expands. So I can take this, stick it right down in this uh, polyvinyl carbonate we got here. And it tightens right down and holds it. So that's perfect. Originally, this kit was supposed to have mounting brackets that kind of like hang it. You, you can see in the video. I mean, not you can see in the, uh, in the Amazon picture. But it was supposed to have them. It didn't come with them. We need to improvise and make our own, which is where this like metal cord comes into play. My thought is. I take this little metal cord thing, I stick it through this little clampy thing, and then I put it right around this little loop. This cord seemed like the perfect size to go right through this loop. Yeah, so I'll just get it 
kind of somewhat hot. And then just tighten this clamp down. So that's what's going to hold it from the ceiling. Pipe's going to go on like this. It's going to hang from the ceiling like this. So I need another loop. Another little loop you do on the top here. That's where these thimbles come into play. I'll take a thimble. I'll take another one of these little clamp doohickeys. And we'll make another loop out of this. And I, I bought way too much wire than I really needed, but I did not want to have to make a return trip. So I'll kind of make a little loop like that, and I'll put this piece in here, and I'll pull it tight. So this is how it's going to hang from the ceiling, hopefully. This wire, I did not really think ahead, and I didn't have a good way of cutting it. So I'm going to try and use these little wire cutters. I did a test cut before starting and it, it didn't exactly go well. So I think if I just snip it that way and then turn it, cut it that way and do this over and over again. So this is not exactly working, but as you can see, I'm like making some progress. So probably not the best choice to not buy a tool to cut this wire. You might want to get just like some kind of thing that, I don't know, ask the dude at the store what you need to cut this thing. If he tells you one of these, he's full of crap. All right, so the cut and twist did something. Perfect, so we've got our little hangy assembly thing. Would have been nice just to get hangers with it, but I wasn't really into doing the whole Amazon return thing and all that. Now I just gotta do it on the other one. Okie doke, I've now got the second one done. They both got little hooks to them. I don't want it to have it a little straight in that, but that's fine. Now both of them have little hooks with them. Let's go ahead and put them on this pipe. Like I was saying a moment ago, slip this through here and just tighten the little knobby on the end down. And it will grip this pipe and it, it's, it's just in there. Alright, so I suppose I'll try and make this straight. I think this is a good spot for the left side of it. Now I can just come over here and put this hook where I want it. Let's take a look at how we're going to mount this to the ceiling. So I've got these like uh, toggle bolt things. So I, I guess this just like goes up into the ceiling and then flips, holds it. And then I've got these eye bolts. with, we get here, washers. All right, so you got the nut on the eye bolt, you got the washer on the nut, that goes in through the ceiling and tightens down into this thing. And then an S hook goes on this, and then the thing hangs from this. Cool. So I need to drill a hole in both of those spots and I sure hope it's the right spot. Always wear safety glasses when you're doing this or just squint really tightly. Oh, perfect, no stud. Ugh. Oh, perfect, no stud on either side. Sorry about the drywall on the carpet. This. Drill a half inch hole. Hold metal channel alongside plastic strap and slap alongside plastic straps and slide channel through the hole. Pull back and slide plastic cap along straps. Oh, 
with his other hand until the flange of cap is flush with wall seal. So I push this all the way up. Oh, that's cool. It like ratchets right in. So that's just like stuck in there now. Snap straps at wall or ceiling by pushing side to side. Oh, cool. So if that goes in like that, then this will just screw into there. Cool. That's one eye bolt in the ceiling. Should probably tighten that down a bit. Well, let's do the other one now. Let's tighten that down. You're gonna use very precise tools to get this. Uh, I don't know exactly how tight I should put this. Yeah, that feels about fine. That, that's good. Oh, how perfect is that? How perfect is that? Cool. That's my hanging green screen thing. This chain goes through the little cog thing right here. Bring my screen down and just unroll it like that, and we're in business. Cool. Now I gotta take it down and glue the green screen to it. Join surfaces within 40 seconds of adhesive application. It doesn't sound promising. So I suppose I'll start in the center. I'll put a bead right down. Okay, uh, I'll just go across the whole thing. Tube of epoxy. I've got it on my hand. Now I'll just smudge this thing down across this. Oh god, that stinks. Ah. Oh. A bucket of smashed buttholes. I'm getting this crap all over my hands. This can't be good. This way I've been. I feel like this is going horribly wrong. This crap smells so bad. It's on my hands. What do I do? Wash them. Oh god, my hands are sticking together. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna let that dry for like Five minutes, the box says. Uh, the bond sets in 40 to 60 seconds and achieves usable strength in five minutes. So yeah, let's meet back here in five minutes and we'll see uh, how it went. All right, so this has been sitting here for about five minutes and it is like super duper, like super duper stuck on here. But I think it's good to hang. That fabric, I don't think it's gonna 
fall down or anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and hang it up. So this side over here is still like a little bit soft. And I think if I roll this thing up, it'll hold it. I'm just kind of going to super glue my hand here for a moment. If I just start rolling just like this. Wow, that is cool. That is really cool. So I'm thinking I might need to hook this because the weight of it might want to unravel it. But I've got one more little trick in store. Wait right there. So I've got a smaller piece of pipe I'd like to put through this bottom ring. I didn't quite think out how I was gonna do this though. Just stick this through here. Roll it a tiny bit. Ah, now it's wanting to unravel. That weight right down here should keep the screen flat when it's unraveled. So I drop the screen down. That weight should keep it flat. I should have ironed this thing. And I spool it up like that. Yeah, why don't you get that angle? That's right where my computer is looking back. So all I do is I come over here and I unhook the chain. And then I unspool the green screen. And then if I kind of just pull this out a little bit. See how it looks from your point of view. I'll pull it back up one more time. All right, you see me? You see me? See me back there? You can see me up here? You both can see me, right? Let's drop down the screen. Check this out. Pull that S hook out. Perfect. Now all I need is some light. What's going on over there? I've got a wrinkle. There we go. Perfect. Pipe out just a hair. And we have the perfect green screen. I'm streaming, I'm playing games. Uh, it's the ending soon scene for whatever reason, so starting soon. Yeah, all right, starting to stream, cool. Now I'm done. All done with the green screen. What just fell? I think it was just the sound of the pipe hitting the other pipe. Or no, it's stuck up there. So don't do that. Hook on there. Things are good. Perfect. Project successful. So, thank you for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't like it. Leave a comment. On uh, if you liked it or not, or if I was uh, totally out of line for using wire cutters to cut that uh, wire. 
subscribe to the channel, and be sure to keep your eye out for my studio tour, which is coming up as soon as I get the finishing touches put on and uh, get, my, get my desk cleaned off.